Test Drive Unlimited was a big open world racing title, however, it died out. But in 2021, they decided to revive it with the Solar Crown. The trailer gave high exceptions, but after I played the demo, I can't really even call it a game. Or a demo, for that matter. And yes, I'm speaking about it while being in this queue screen for around 5 minutes. Okay, and we're inside the game. So I, I played this yesterday and they didn't even give me the option to create a character, so I'll have to play as a woman. And uh, furthermore, it's not optimized at all. So first off, we'll be loading for the next 20 years. Okay, so... As you can see, I have 33 FPS. And the graphics look like a mobile game that was made in a span of a week. What is that? I swear to God, TDU2 genuinely looks better than this. And TDU2 is a 2011 game. Okay, so... Solar Hotel. I'm pressing the design key, yet it doesn't allow me. What does Y mean? One, so I think they had plenty of time to optimize it. Once again, my character is moving as he's a drug addict. I cannot even run. My voice chat turns on randomly. It's a long time going to the exit. Maybe I can run on keyboard. Okay, actually I can. Um... Well, if that doesn't say anything, then I don't know what does. Those tweaking numbers on the gorgeous, these terrible trees which look like out of a 2002 PS2 game or a cartoony graphic mobile game. The driving physics feel like crew too. There's much functional, yeah, but I don't know. And you can lift windows. I don't know, I'll try to change graphic settings and see how this effect will affect the performance. We're currently at 47 and 30 yes. FPS. It doesn't change the picture at all. It still looks like absolute mobile game physics. And I can't even drive with that. And we are having 27 FPS currently. I mean, you have had three years to develop this and you came up with this. Which looks like I'm playing CSR. It's a mobile racing game. I mean, what is that menu design? It genuinely looks like a mobile game. But look at this. You can't make this thing so. This thing weighs 45 gigabytes. This is the experience I have. I genuinely feel like I'm playing a mobile game. Those driving physics are so they're not even good for an arcade. It's really a mobile game feeling. It looks like a cheap Forza copy, which was made in a day or so, because I don't know how a large game studio could output this in the public eye without feeling ashamed. I feel like in the modern game world, no, nobody cares about their reputations. Yeah, the driving physics are... Terrible. Oh my god, we're having 20 FPS in the city on a decent PC build. We're playing in 2K resolution. Let's see if uh, changing it to a lower resolution will help somehow. We set it to a lower resolution and the FPS are the same. 26 FPS even on this resolution. So about the map, I really thought that the map, since it's a one-to-one -one copy of Hong Kong, would be nice. I don't know, it feels lifeless. For Hong Kong, it feels actually lifeless. Let's look at the map from top view, I have no idea how do you open it. Okay, there we go. I mean... Uh, it's not full in the demo. 12 FPS. Great. 10 FPS, can it be any lower? Oh, I was dragged into... The Solar Crown is there to help you in the competition. I you did not ask for this. For you. Yeah, 
It feels painful to play this. Like really, I, just, I have zero enjoyment from playing this. Is this a dealership or something? Okay, we, we've got the Alpina. Oh, I cannot quit. Installing a part I'm forced into g getting a... A turbine. Okay, we'll get a turbine. Successful purchase. I don't think it will be a successful purchase for anyone who buys the game. Feels like I'm in a fever dream. Is this the torture chamber? Man, what is this? I'm playing on high settings right now, by the way. Okay, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. I, I don't really care about that. Let's look at the dealerships that they have to offer. Okay, uh, Italian cars. A Barth of Romeo Mito. American dealership. Playing on the controller right now, I don't understand what is this steering wheel movement. Are they pulling a crew to move? Okay, let's try keyboard. Oh my god, is that... Like, they don't even try to take effort at making something. I feel like this was made in an actual year, or even less. Like, maybe they spent all time on the map that made, made the rest of the game in two months. Or cars. The cars are really nice designed. You can see so many details in the interior, like the dust on the screen, reflections, the electronic gorges. Also, what I didn't like is that they get got rid of the car-specific tachometer, like in TDU2. Every car, or at least car brand, had its own tachometer. And here is just a generic thing, which looks like it's, it's from CSR2. So well, that's all I really have to show, the game is actually this bad, I'm playing on a decent PC. Let's just have a look at how TDU2 looks like. I'm not saying that the graphics are great or anything, but they genuinely look better and more well put than the current TDU game. Even in the menu screen, you can see that everything is nicely made. Like yeah, the graphics are 2011. But this is so well output, this is so well uh, done. You can not see any seams, it's seamless. There is nothing wrong with it. It's that the quality graphic quality level, but I don't blame it, it's a 2011 game. Meanwhile, TDU Solar Crown is a 2024 game, which has these terrible graphics and horrible optimization. Thank you for watching, if you made it this far, and see you later.